Hi kids! This is Teacher May, your teacher for today. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the latest videos. Before we start our new lesson, let's have a short review. Write the following numbers in fraction form and decimal form. Write the decimal form in part A in the place value chart below. What do you notice about the fractions in the short review exercise, Part A? The numerator has either 1 or 2 digits. The denominator is either 10 or 100. The numerators are smaller than the denominators. Fractions given are proper fractions. How is the decimal form related to the denominator of the fraction form? When the denominator is 10, there is only one decimal place. When the denominator is 100, there are two decimal places. Conversion of decimal to fraction Decimal number with one decimal digit. Let us discover how to convert a decimal number with one decimal digit to fraction. Example number one, convert four tenths to fraction. How do you write four tenths in word form? How do you write four tenths in fraction form? Example number two, convert eight tenths to fraction. How do you write eight tenths in word form? How do you write 8 tenths in fraction form? In general, how do you convert a decimal with one decimal digit to fraction? To convert the decimal to fraction, Write the decimal digit in the numerator and write 10 in the denominator. Decimal number with two decimal digits. Let us discover how to convert a decimal number with two decimal digits to fraction. Example number one, convert three hundredths to fraction. How do you write three hundredths in word form? How do you write three hundredths in fraction form? Example number two, convert twenty-five hundredths to fraction. How do you write 25 hundredths in word form? How do you write 25 hundredths in fraction form? In 
In general, how do you convert a decimal with two decimal digits to fraction? To convert the decimal to fraction, write the decimal digits in the numerator and write 100 in the denominator. Let us try these examples. Convert the following decimals to fraction. Let's have an activity. Answer the conversion problems. A meter stick measures one meter. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. 0 0.1 or one tenth of a meter is equal to 10 centimeters. Convert the decimal to fraction. 0 0.1 or one tenth is equal to one tenth. Alprazolam, 0 0.5 or 5 tenths milligram, is used in the treatment of anxiety and panic disorder. Convert the decimal to fraction. 0 0.5 is equal to 5 tenths. A tablespoon is equivalent to about 7500 milliliter. 7,500 milliliter is about 15 drops. Convert the decimal to fraction. Zero point seventy-five or 7,500 is equal to 7,500. Since 7,500 or 3 fourth milliliter is equal to 15 drops, then 1 milliliter is equivalent to 20 drops, and a teaspoon is about 5 milliliter. Using the materials you brought, I will show you whether the teaspoon is accurate or not. Conversion of fractions with denominators of 10 or 100 to decimals. Let us review how to read and write fractions and decimals. Try writing the following in symbols. What do you observe about the fraction forms and decimal forms of the numbers from 1 to 3? The denominator of the fractions is 10. There is only one decimal place. What do you observe about the fraction forms and decimal forms of the numbers from 4 to 6? The denominator of the fractions is 100. There are two decimal places. How do you write fractions, tenths, in decimal form? How do you write fractions, hundreds, in decimal form? To write tenths in decimal form, write the numerator in the tenths place. To write hundreds in decimal form, write the tenths digit in the numerator in the tenths place while the ones digit in the hundreds place. If the numerator is a one-digit number, write 0 in the tenths place. Let us try these examples. Convert the following fractions to decimals.
Let's have an activity. Answer the conversion problems. Using an analog weighing scale, sugar has a mass of 5 tenths kilogram. What is the mass of the sugar? Using a digital weighing scale. 5 tenths is equal to 0 0.5 or 5 tenths. Number 2, I have a 1,000 peso bill. I exchanged it with 100 pieces of 10 peso coins. 25 hundreds of 1,000 pesos is equivalent to 25 pieces of 10 peso coins. Convert the fraction to decimal. 25 hundreds is equal to 0 0.25 or 25 hundreds. How much is 25 hundreds of 1,000 pesos? The answer is 250 pesos. Number 3, how many years are there in a century? At present, 2024, we are in the 21st century. By 2100s, we will be in the 22nd century. How many more years before we reach the 22nd century? We will be counting 76 more years out of 100 or 76 hundredths. Convert the fraction to decimal. Seventy-six hundredths is equal to zero point seventy-six or seventy-six hundredths. How old are you now? You have relatives or friends whose age is at least eighty-five to ninety years. What do you think these people did to reach that age? For them to be able to go to the next century from 20th to 21st century. Would you like to reach another century? How will you be able to do it? In what ways? Eating healthy foods like fruits and vegetables, regular exercise, happy and clean environment.